Well, our own Dr. Mark Siegel sounding off on health care in a New York Times op-ed, quote, Americans believe that insurance provides access to care when, in fact, it is the gatekeeper that often denies care. And he joins us now. Man, that's a strong statement to make in, of all places, the New York Times. Got a lot of reaction to it. <laughs> because the bureaucracy of insurance, Charles, is there telling me you need, you need a pre-approval, you need an ap approval. And believe it or not, they're arbitrary half the time. I find that a lot of things I think my patients need, I can't get approved. And things I don't think they need get approved quickly. People come in to see me unnecessarily. You know, I find out after they're there. I think there's a lot of doctors out there, not myself, who, who create mills where they see too many patients for too many problems that they don't really need to see them right. for. This jacks up the cost. Then we have all the pre-existing conditions. Then we have the good news, which is innovation, technology, personalized solutions, you know, immunotherapy. This stuff is really expensive. So if you put all the pre-existing conditions together and you make everybody pay the same premium and everything's expensive and the system's being overused and it's geared toward the last two years of life, guess what? It's going to be a fortune. All right. It's going to be a fortune, and that's what we're currently facing. And does this also play into the whole thing of defensive medicine as well? Uh, you know, because that is, is obviously an issue, people getting checked up for things they don't need to be checked up for. You know, and Stewart says that's the main point. He's made that again and again. He thinks defensive medicine is the, reason, is the biggest reason costs right. are high because in my chair, it's not just I'm afraid of malpractice. I'm afraid of missing anything that could potentially lead to a liability right. situation. So that's a huge cost. One thing I want to tell you, Charles, I have a solution that nobody's talked about. I think if the government feels that they're responsible for the health of the public, they should expand the National Health Service Corps. They should build more federally funded clinics. They already are servicing 22 million people as it is. And that's the way to provide it more cheaply.